is going on folks you're watching the hungry handgunner i am nick um got a little bit of the sickly voice going on but i had something really cool that i wanted to come out and show you guys today it's not going to be a full review it's just going to be an initial look um gotta do it for the tube right so about 18 months ago give or take uh i don't remember exactly when i made a bad decision it turns out i picked up a cz p09 urban gray it's my first cz pistol um awesome gun love it it's actually my home defense gun and then a little while ago got a p10c and fell in love with that and the reason i say i made a bad decision is the p01 omega urban gray so i uh, have not shot this gun yet i'm actually going to get the first shots on camera but before we do that and all that i'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing which i don't normally do because um i mean it's a gun box but People have asked if I was going to start doing that, so I will do that before I shoot the gun. I've exercised a lot of self-control, by the way. Um, I'm not shooting this until you guys get to see it. So, without further ado, let's jump down. I'll show you what comes in the box, and then we'll shoot this thing. All right, so as you can see, we've got the gun right here. Two 16-round mags. The normal capacity for the PO1 Omega is 14 plus 1. These have a little bit of extra base plate. Um, gets two extra rounds. A little baggie with the parts for the Omega trigger to swap that decocker over to a manual safety if you so desire. I'm going to leave it on decocker just like I did with the PO9. You've got a little Allen wrench in there. Uh, you've got a cleaning rod and a bristle brush, user manual, and gun lock up in the top. Probably where those will stay unless I need them. Uh, definitely the lock. I never use those. So I'll show you the gun up close here in a second. That's what you get with the box. Uh, CZ boxes are pretty snazzy in my opinion. So, yeah. all right, so here we are. Um, as you can see, this is the CZ75P01 Omega. And the Omega just means that you can convert this trigger over from a decocker to a manual safety. Trigger shape is a little bit different than the traditional CZ75s. Now, this is the urban gray version, so uh, you do have the threaded barrel from the factory and these high-rise sights. Very nice sights. Um, I've got the same ones on my P09. Tritium is nice and bright at night, and them being high doesn't really bother me. Sorry for sniffing so much, guys, but <clears throat> the cold has hit. So these grips are actually rubber, uh, very grippy in the hand. It feels very good, and you have some checkering lines here, checkering lines on the front strap, and a little bit of checkering on the front of the trigger guard. It is a very ergonomic gun. So part of the CZ75 um, and their P series, their P09 and P07. Part of what makes them so awesome is that the slide actually rides inside the frame. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that there. Um, makes for a lower bore axis. Now it does have one potential drawback. Uh, you got less real estate up here to manipulate the slide. So with a little bit of practice, um, I don't really find it to be an issue, but definitely cool. So I think that's about it. Uh, I think the weight on this is 29 ounces unloaded. So not super light, but my P10C is 26 ounces. So we're really only talking three ounces heavier than that one. Um, the frame on this one is alloy, slide is stainless steel, and it is a poly coat coating they use for the gray. So pretty cool. All right, I have waited long enough. Let's shoot it. All right, folks, so I got two mags loaded up, uh, 16 rounds each mag. So everybody that's a big CZ fan told me when I got the other two pistols that uh, if I really liked their polymer guns, I was really going to love their metal frame guns. So I've got high expectations going into this. So uh, we're at a distance of about 15 yards from my steel silhouette and about 10 yards from my little swinger plate. We're starting off fairly close. Um, I don't know what to expect yet, so let's see what we got. First shot's going to be double action, and then I'll just go from there. Missed a couple there. Believe it or not, I do miss more than I like to admit, uh, especially getting a new gun. I don't know if it's just excitement or it being a new gun, but 
Go ahead and fire that one in uh, double action again. I think I actually hit that one the first time, so there we go. I like it. I actually really like that. Um, I don't shoot a whole lot of metal frame guns, so this is definitely uh, something a little different for me. I'll tell you what, let me go load up two more mags and we'll, uh, we'll do it again. I'm going to shoot it a lot anyway, so I'll get these uh, next two mags on camera and then I'll tell you what I think about it. Alright folks, I got her loaded back up. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more of the double action fire and just getting used to the trigger, so if you see me decock it, that's what I'm doing. CZ actually recommends, uh, I think it's 90% single action and about 10% double action firing for the, the way the springs are set up. Um, and I may be wrong on that, but I had read that somewhere. So keep that in mind when you're practicing. But double action trigger does definitely take some uh, getting used to it. It's not something you shoot a lot. So here we go. Yeah, I'm loving this guy. Get my other mag out here. There we go. Mess that one up. Mess that one up. Had a string of them there. I didn't do real well with. No mag inserted, uh, obviously no round in the chamber. First thoughts after 64 rounds. <laughs> um, I like it. I absolutely can kind of see what the guys are talking about with the metal frame versus polymer frames. Um, I don't get a lot of metal frame guns. I've always kind of, my generation, uh, grew up with a lot of the plastic fantastics for most of us. So, um, there's that. A lot of tactical Tupperware in my collection. Some some steel, and I do like the steel, but I'm thinking uh, I'm starting to gravitate towards more uh, selective purchases at this point. So my love affair for CZ is uh, it's getting bad. If you guys know a 12-step program for um, CZ fans, never mind. I mean, I'm not ready to quit. It would do no good. So uh, this little guy is actually a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, but I can see why this would make a good carry gun. Maybe not the urban gray configuration. Uh, I wouldn't have a hard time concealing something like this. I've definitely carried larger guns. So, and I wouldn't carry it yet after only putting 64 rounds through it. So I've got to do some more vetting. Um, I did get a holster ordered for it through Lucky Coyote. It's my go-to holster guys. Um, I actually put a review or a card for their review up there in the corner if you guys want to check them out. Veteran owned, they offer veteran discount. Great guys great product as well so uh yeah if you're on the fence about one of these and you're gonna go based off my initial review i don't know that that's smart hell i don't know going off my regular reviews is smart but uh yeah i like it and i'm probably gonna keep blasting away but i'm not gonna record all that for you guys i also want to give a special shout out to my patreon supporters um billy fisher and d jolly uh, yes two of you <laughs> um Thank you so much. I actually used the Patreon contributions you guys have made to help fund this. So I want to tell you thank you. Um, if you want to become a Patreon or a patron on my Patreon, I am going to drop a link in the video description. Uh, head over there. Anything helps, and I do appreciate it. Uh, watching, sharing, commenting, liking, all that is definitely supportive as well, and I appreciate it. But I did want to give a special shout-out to those guys because they helped make this possible. Thank you guys very, very much.
without further ado, um, go ahead and let you guys know, giveaway is still on. When we hit a thousand subs, I've got a Heritage Manufacturing Rough Rider 22 LR 22 Mag Combo Revolver that I will be giving away to one lucky subscriber on the day we hit a thousand subs. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. You could get a free gun. Also giving away two CRKT knives on that day. So thank you for watching. Stay safe. Keep shooting. And I'll see you next time.